Hello. Well, uh, today is my obligatory birthday video that I make every year. Um, so yeah, I'm having a... Just going to try to <clears throat> take it as easy as I can today. Obviously, you know, you know got to do... Uh, uh, you have things to do during the day, obviously, everybody does, but uh, in the midst of that, I'll try to, I'll do my best to enjoy the day best I can. Um, I will watch this movie, uh, probably later tonight, and um, today there will be you know, a video of me talking about uh, Star Wars, as I generally do on my birthday, uh, as well as um, seeing Star Wars Episode One uh, again um, on the big screen that happened uh, uh, May 3rd. Um, now, in that video, there are some things I didn't really include because I was just sort of like very much still in the like, you know just sort of like you got back not too long prior to making the video and so I was like well you know that was really fantastic um great experience and uh mentioned how in the uh how you know in 13 states here in america uh, they uh like they had, or maybe 13 cities. I don't remember. Regardless, off, off, off the hand, it was like 13 whatever states or cities. Um, cities, probably, uh, in all honesty. But uh, it could have been state. I don't remember. Regardless, I guess it doesn't matter at all. Um, but in those 13 whatever... Uh, there were, uh, there was, a, a marathon of all the Star Wars movies, you know, the six George Lucas ones, and what Disney made, um, uh, in a big marathon form, um, starting, uh, like around 10 p.m. for, uh, the prequels on May 3rd, and then as that went over into midnight, you see the next two films, and then somewhere they would, you know, they have a break and stuff, and I would imagine there would be multiple breaks, but, you know, there were, there was an, uh, a, a morning, you know, after you get breakfast, because I, from what I've read, and of course, you know, some of the information I just recall was fairly scantily when they announced the marathon. Um, but, you know, they, uh, you know, by morning, you, you know, you get something to eat. Like the theaters would actually, like, have some sort of food for all those who would be there. Like, you get breakfast, and then after, you know, you watch the, you know, after the prequels, you get breakfast, and then after, and then once you've watched the original trilogy, you would get uh, lunch. Um, and then after that, um, if you still wanted to continue to uh, watch what the Disney films were, you could then... Uh, uh, which would then uh, go into the, you know, the evening, you then get dinner by that point. And it was like a 20-some hour uh, long marathon. And uh, I'll just say, I decided to just, at the end, just have my own marathon of uh, the six films, you know, uh, together all, overall, of course, with Phantom Menace. <laughs> Watching Attack of the Clones was a little later, but... You know, um, watching, you know, um, 
watching those six in marathon form will be very, you know, you spend at least half of a day <laughs> or so. And since I was making sure, you know, I was have all the things I needed to get done. I mean, I then decided, like, you know, I'd kind of make a weekend of um, watching uh, the Star Wars films. Plus, made in general, I usually watch the Star Wars movies just because, you know, it's my birthday. <laughs> it's, you know, usually on my birthday, I will watch the original for sure. Um, and sometimes in the past, I've, uh, <clears throat> I have actually, uh, like if it's on a weekend, I will watch all six of them, like back to back and have my own, um, uh, breaks here and there. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I kind of just did that <laughs> the first weekend of, uh, of May and, um. Yeah, May fourth is May the f is Star Wars Day, but really that's three weeks after. You know, it's the last Saturday of this month is Star Wars Day because you know Star Wars Day I would say would be May twenty fifth, which is when the original film Episode Four, you know, chronologically came out, and uh, also when Return of the Jedi came out. So. Um, there's all that. And also, something I did not mention, but I think it's worth mentioning here. Um, George Lucas is going to be, uh, receive an honorary, uh, <clears throat> like a, uh, award at that Con Film Festival. Um, his first film, THX 1138, was shown there. <clears throat> I, you know, like premiered and stuff. Like, had one of its big premieres there, and, uh, you know, he's happy to be honored by them. Um, uh, an honorary Palm d'Or, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. And it is, I believe, on May 25th. And uh, George turned 80 on Tuesday, May 14th. This is Thursday, May 16th. Where I'm... Uh, 30 so you know there is like a you know a 50 year age gap you know difference between he and i but it's kind of cool how you know uh his birthday and mine are very similar very close together um and also you know there's half a century between uh he and i and that's kind of cool and his his birthday he, you know he's his you know, I, I wish him the best. You know, he's done a lot for film. You know, he helped revolutionize film. Pioneer digital filmmaking, which I know still does have its critics. Um, but in all honesty, yeah, at some point, digital was going to take over at some point. To, at least to some degree. You know, film obviously still exists. And I'm, I'm happy film exists. Um especially since as time has gone on, you know, they've been able to make stronger film that doesn't rip and tear as easily, which was partly why George Lucas wanted to push digital because, you know, he and all of his friends would often complain about, you know, film and how it tears easily and gets scratched and all that stuff. And so, you know, at some point, uh, somebody was going to really push digital in terms of making movies and of course now subsequently TV shows. But um, if George Lucas didn't do it, it would have been somebody else. Um, and, you know, or people like to just dump on George Lucas just because <clears throat> even if the critiques aren't very warranted, you know, I remember Orson Welles in some, it was in an interview like in the 70s or 80s. Can't recall offhand, but there was a time where I was just really watching a whole lot of Orson Welles interviews. And uh, he's a very interesting man. He's very fascinating. And I just remember he made a, 
you know, they're talking about like making films and all that stuff. And he made the comment about, you know, like either he or somebody else, maybe the interviewer or whatever, brought up perhaps like digital or something like that, regardless of he or the interviewer or another guest that might have been with him on the whatever show he was on. You know, he, you know, it was brought up about digital filmmaking. And now he, saw, he thought, like in the 70s, 80s, like, you know, it already should have been started to look, being looked into. And unfortunately, at that point, they people really weren't looking into um, digital filmmaking. So, you know, that's unfortunate. But, you know, uh, even Orson Welles was like, you know, you should really be looking at that. So people can be mad at George Lucas all they want or something like that. But even somebody like Orson Welles was like, you know, that should be something that people were even just discussing. You know, the technology perhaps wasn't there in the 70s and 80s, but the fact there was no conversation whatsoever was he thought was completely sad. And um, like and now, like, you know, there's like, yeah. Anyway, um, again, just my uh, obligatory uh, birthday video. I uh, hope you're all doing well. If it's your birthday today also, happy birthday. I am uploading this uh, Central Standard Time here in the USA. So depending on where you live, if you live all, all, all other parts of America or Canada, you know, where there's you know mountain time and pacific and all that you know it will be still may 15th but just know it's may 16th when i actually upload this <laughs> um yeah anyway um again happy birthday to all of you who have the same birthday as me and uh to everybody else just have a great day hope you'll have a great rest of your week hope your week has been great so far or at least good and have a great weekend also um just take care bye